Slam that like button if you love cookies. I love cookies. I'll slam the like button. Mmm, delicious. Okay, class. I'm mostly happy with your report cards this quarter, but there are a few of you that I'll be seeing in summer school. You'll know who you are when I hand out these report cards. Now, I want you to take them home and have one of your parents sign them and then bring them back to me tomorrow so I know that they've seen them. No funny business. Show your report card to one of your grown-ups and return it to me. Does everybody understand? Yes, Mrs. Smith. I can't wait to get my report card, Bookie. I'm sure that I got all A's. Um, Daisy, I think you're the only person in Brookhaven that's excited about getting your report card. <laughs> I work really hard for my good grades. And besides, my parents usually give me a present if I do really good. Like, I get to have ice cream every day for a week or something cool like that. Wow. Whoa, your parents sound so cool. Here you go, Daisy. Here's your report card. <sighs> I, I don't even know what to say. I know, right? I am doing amazing. Uh, you really should look over your report card before you say that. <coughs> Ugh, report card day. I hate report card day. I, I, yay, 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 yay. Oh, Daisy, you always get the best grades. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. You're the best. Blah, 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 blah. Um, Molly, you know, if you actually did your homework, you'd probably get a good grade. Blah, blah, and also blah. Hey, wait a minute. Do my eyes deceive me? I got good grades? Holy guacamole! I never saw this one coming! <laughs> I'm getting ice cream for a week from my mom and dad. Okay, class, like I said, make sure you have your parents sign them and return them to me tomorrow. Oh, man. I'm going to end up in summer school. How about you, Brookie? How'd you do? Mostly B's and one A. Great job. Molly, did I hear you say that you got really good grades? Yeah, look at this. Whoa, those are really good grades. Yeah, I know. My mom and dad are going to be so impressed. I can't stop smiling. My face is frozen this way. My first good report card like ever. Daisy, are you coming inside? Uh, no, I'll be in in a minute. Uh, the stomach's a little upset from that weird lunch that lunch lady served us. I need some fresh air. Okay, well, meet you inside. <laughs> Wait till I tell my mom. Mom, mom, mom. What is it, Molly? Oh my gosh. You look like you won the lottery. Better. Mom, we got our report cards today and oh no. Here we go. How many bad grades, Molly? Guess. Um, five? No! Six? Mom! I don't know, Molly, how many? Zero! Wait, what? Yeah, Mom, look at my report card. Oh, A's! Molly, this is amazing! Oh, oh, oh! Mom, why are you fainting right now? Because you've never gotten a good report card ever in the history of ever. I'm so proud of you. I'm going to buy you ice cream every single day for a, y a year. Whoa, mom. <laughs> you don't want me to do, like get, you know, like diabetes or something. No, no, no. But for a week, Molly. Any kind you want. For a whole week. Yay! Thanks, mom. Where's Daisy? Uh, she said her tummy was kind of upset. <laughs> I can't believe I failed almost every single class. Uh -oh. What's wrong with me? I got some good grades on my test. Oh, the teacher hates me. I can't show my mom and dad this report card. They think I'm an ignoramus. Oh, I know what I'll do. I'll hide my report card. I'll sneak in the back door when no one can see me. And I'll put it under my mattress. And no one needs to know about this. And then I'll work extra hard to get better grades. Oh, I hope your sister feels better. Yeah, she said she ate something weird at lunch and she just wanted to get some fresh air. Oh, well, I can't wait to see her amazing report card. Well, since mine's so amazing, guess I don't need to study tonight. I'm going to watch TV for three hours. Well, Molly, you do want to keep your award-winning streak going, don't you? 
of good grades, good grades, good grades. Uh, Mom, I think I deserve a night off. I think you do too, Molly. Just relax. I'll make your favorite tonight. Okay, just, just act normal. Act normal. Wet this frown off your face, Daisy. Uh, by favorite, you mean favorite thing for dinner? That's right. How about pizza or mac and cheese or bean burritos? Mac and cheese sounds delicious, Mom. We haven't had that in a long time. Hi, everybody. What you watching? Oh, hi, Daisy. How was school? Is your tummy feeling better? Yeah, I just needed some fresh air. I'm fine now. Uh, honey, where's your report card? You're usually so excited to give it to me. That's the thing, Mom. Somehow, there was a giant gust of wind when I was outside, and it blew it away. It got lost. Wait, what? You lost your report card? The most important thing to you ever? Yeah. <sighs> At first, I was freaking out, but then I was like, it's okay. Mom and Dad know I get great grades anyway. Well, she does have a point. I guess I trust that you got great grades and I don't have to worry about it. Oh, yeah, that's my mom. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> I always get great grades. Daisy, something seems kind of fishy about you. What? No, it doesn't, Molly. Go away. Fine. Mom, can we have that mac and cheese now? Sure, Molly. I'll start making it. You relax, my super smart daughter. How'd you get such great grades? You are totally no moose. Daisy, rude. What's gotten into you? You're just jealous because I'm smart now, too. But I'm not jealous, and you'll never be smarter than me, even if your report card said you are. Why, are you saying you got a B on your report card, huh? 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 No, of course not. I got all A's. Now get out of my face, please. Whoa, she is so grumpy. Mm, Mom, this ice cream's great. Only, I don't think I meant that you could have ice cream for breakfast. Well, you didn't specify, so... Oh, so tired. Need coffee. Whoa, Daisy, you're up really late today. What's going on with you? Like, you always get up way before me. I was up all night studying. I'm exhausted. Honey, that's not good. You shouldn't stay up all night studying. You need sleep. Yeah, Daisy. Maybe you should just eat some ice cream. I don't deserve ice cream. What? What are you talking about? Of course you do, Daisy. You're a great student. But tonight I want you to go to bed on time. It's not good for you to be up all night studying. Yeah. Now do you want some ice cream or not? No. I just have a piece of fruit. And then I'm going to take a nap on the school bus. Oh, must get good grades. Must get good grades. Mm. Why don't you try what I do? Don't study and don't do any of your work. Then you'll get a lot of A's. Molly, that's so annoying. I don't know how you pulled that off, but but I don't think it's right. Um, maybe because I'm a genius and I don't need to study. Ugh, that just figures. Don't be too jealous, Daisy. Mm. This is delicious. Oh, girls, the school bus is here. Better get going. Bye, Mom. Your genius daughter will get more good grades, I promise. Okay, honey, have a great day. You too, Daisy. Oh, uh, yeah. How to I? Come on, Daisy. We are about to go to the school that certified me as a genius. <sighs> Could you be quiet, Molly? You're driving me crazy. Okay, jeez. La, 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 la. Oh, these girls were eating Cheetos in their beds again. Oh, now I'm going to have to take the bedding all off and vacuum the mattress. Ay, ay, ay. I've told them not to eat Cheetos in bed. What's this? Daisy's report card? Underneath her mattress? <gasps> she failed all of her classes? She lied to me. O-M-G. That's it. Sounds like I need to take a trip to the school. Daisy Acker, please report to the principal's office. Daisy Acker, please report to the principal's office immediately. Uh-oh. Whoa, Daisy, you're getting called to the principal's office. I wonder why. You've never been called there before, ever. I don't know, but something tells me this 
is it going to be good? Well, good luck. I've heard of people going to the principal's office and they never return. <laughs> Thanks. That doesn't make me feel freaked out or anything. You're welcome. Ma'am? What, what are you doing here? <laughs> Let's see. Today I was cleaning, and since you were eating Cheetos in your bed, I had to tear apart your bed, and look what I found under your mattress. Daisy, did you hide your, your report card from your parents? I'm disappointed in you. I, I will, um, I... That's what I thought, Daisy. How could you? And you're failing all of your classes? What? Ugh! You're grounded for an entire month. And you will be studying extra hard. Well, I can't really study any more than I already am, Mom. I already feel like an ignoramus. And I didn't want you to think that I was. <sighs> oh, honey... You're not ignoramus. Maybe we just need to get you a tutor. I mean, I do see that you're working hard. I don't understand why all your grades are so bad. Wait a minute. There seems to be an error in our computer system. Daisy actually got all A's. Wait, what? I knew there had to be something wrong. I'm a great student. Um, so there's just been a mix up here? Yes, but unfortunately, your mix-up here is with your other daughter, Molly Acker. Yes, what about her? She's the one with the failing grades and is going to have to attend summer school. Apparently, they mix them up because they're sisters. Oh my god, Molly! You're the one with the failing report card! And to think, she got to eat all of my celebration ice cream! Daisy? I would definitely not celebrate yet. What? Why, ma'am? Because you lied to me and you hid your report card. You still are grounded for a week. Oh, I never get grounded. I'm the golden child. Well, not anymore, Daisy. That was very naughty. <laughs> uh, who wants to break the news to Molly that she didn't get all the A's? <clears throat> um, yeah, not it. You're the principal. You tell her. Oh, poor girl. She's going to have to do summer school. Well, that's what happens when you don't do any homework. I thought that unicorn was so annoying. You're wearing a shirt with a unicorn on it, Sarah. Okay, yeah, because my other clothes were dirty and and we're supposed to show school spirit if we're cheerleaders. That unicorn was way too cheery. Why don't they get something that's like a little less annoying? I'm so sad. I love the shiny unicorn more than anything. Ow. Well, Molly, 
The principal said there's going to be a new mascot. Maybe you'll love that one just as much. Okay, okay, class. Let's pay attention to what's going on in math class, not who the new school mascot will be. Yeah, but teacher, this is really important. Of course it is, but not as important as your math. Now, everybody, I want you to take out your workbook, um, page 34, please. And Molly, I want you to answer question number one, please. Ow. I totally think our mascot should be something really girly and pretty and cute, don't you, Sarah? Oh, Tiffany, you're being so annoying. Why are you so cheery today? I don't know. It just seems like a cheery day. I mean, we're getting a new mascot. This is our opportunity to make everything pink and amazing this year. Oh, I'm just so tired of being at school. I just want to be home like Snapchatting or shopping. Yeah, that does sound fun, but you are going to vote for pink, right? We don't even know what the mascot's going to be yet, Tiffany. You just be quiet. You're really annoying. Fine. You are so rude today, Sarah. Ugh, whatever. I'm going to go get a snack. Hmm, what do they have? Ooh, Diet Coke, my favorite. Who do you guys think our new mascot should be? I don't know, but I definitely think the mascot should be blue. Yeah, me too. I love the color blue. No, pink! What, do you want to go be with the mean girls? The baddies? Because they're the ones that are picking pink. Well, I think pink is a great color. Like I said, you could be on Sarah's side then. May I have your attention, please? Oh, it's an announcement! Maybe we're going home early. <coughs> Molly, it's not the winter. It's not like we're going to get a half day because it's snowing. We are about to see two possible mascots. Everybody, please join us in the auditorium. Yes! Let's go see what our new mascots are. This is going to be amazing. Here are our two possible mascots for Brookhaven High. We have the Doge. Oh, I love that one. It's all blue. The bunny rabbit. Oh, look at that bunny rabbit. Isn't it so cute? Cute? That little bunny rabbit is terrifying. It looks like a pink nightmare. Something that's going to come terrorize me in my dreams. Yeah, that thing has a little Five Nights at Freddy's. I'm totally voting for the blue doge. Yeah, don't you think it would be cool? Home of the doge. I love it. I want the whole school school to be blue. Oh, this is so lame. I could be Snapchatting right now. Oh, MG, are you serious? I think that pink bunny rabbit is so cute. I hope our whole school is pink, pink, and also pink. Oh, yeah. Well, I guess if I had to choose, I would choose the pink bunny rabbit. Can we have some rabbit instead of rabbit? Yeah, but it's going to be our school mascot. I'm so excited. Yay! All right, everyone. I want a show of hands. Who wants the blue doge? Okay, 25 students want the blue doge. And let's see who wants the pink bunny rabbit. 25 students? It's a tie? Hmm, how will we have a tiebreaker? What? No, 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 no. We're not going to fight to see who the mascot's going to be. No, no, okay, stop that right now. Doge, we are going to have a pink versus blue fashion show. Whoever wins the best fashion in the show gets to have their color mascot for the school. Since we need to have a tiebreaker, I want everyone to come to school tomorrow in their favorite color, pink or blue. Whatever team has the most school spirit wins. And that will be our new school mascot. Cookie, you want to come over to my house and plan our outfit for tomorrow? I sure do, Molly. We need to have the most school spirit in the color blue. That way, we can win. Because we don't want that creepy pink bunny rabbit to be our mascot, do we? Absolutely not! Molly, come on! I've got a lot of homework to do, and I have to figure out what I'm wearing for spirit day tomorrow. Sorry, Daisy, but I can't get in the car unless you change the color to blue. What? You know I drive a pink car, Molly. Get in! No, I cannot be around the color pink. 
I choose blue. Marty, you're being ridiculous. You know that I own this car for like three years now. Well, I'm sorry, Daisy, but I'm not getting in the car with you. Well, fine then, walk! Wait, what? No, I don't want to walk, Daisy! Stinker, huh? Well, we'll see about that. Your bunny rabbit's the real stinker. Just because I fart a lot doesn't mean you should call me a stinker. Ah, it's the creepy bunny rabbit. Get away from me. Ah! Wait, come back. We could be friends. Not a chance, creepy bunny rabbit. Thanks for leaving me at the school, Daisy. But Molly, I'm sorry, but you didn't want to get in my car. And so, basically, what was I supposed to do? Change the color. This is Brookhaven. You can change the color. I'm not changing the color of my car for you. Now, if you excuse me, Sarah's coming over soon. Say what? Sarah's not going to come to our house. She's a total bully. Uh, correction. She loves the bunny rabbit in Sono Nai. We both love the color pink. Daisy, Sarah doesn't love anything. She's a grumpy bully. Well, she doesn't want blue to win. The July. So she and Tiffany are coming over. Ugh, this day just got so much worse. I can't wait till Brookie shows up. Did somebody just say my name? Brookie! Come on in. Molly, you look so sad. What's going on? My sister is inviting over Sarah and Tiffany. Say what? Ah! Why? Because she wants to win and they're all fashionistas. They're baddies. You know that they're going to win. What? No, our outfits are going to be amazing. Come on, let's go brainstorm what we can do. Yeah, we can't let that creepy bunny take over our school. Game face, Brookie! Let's do this! How's this? Molly, seriously? No, no, try again. How about this? Whoa, Molly, you look like a smurf. No, definitely not. We want to win this competition. Brookie, it's no use. Look at us. Y you look like a... Blueberry! And I look like a smurf! We're not fashionistas. We're not gonna win the competition! Molly, did you forget? Forget what? Huh, how to be fashionable? Yeah, I totally did. Never give up and never surrender. Cause you can do anything. If you put your mind to it, whoa, whoa, whoa. You can do it! Okay, I'll try again. Great job, Molly. I know you can do this. I have faith in you. Thanks, Brookie. You really are the bestest friend in the whole world. Aww. Whoa! Molly, you look amazing! You even have an adorable dog on the front of your shirt! You're the perfect, perfect, like, combination of blue! And the bow in your hair, and the hearts, and, and you're gonna win the school spirit! I just know it! Blue is gonna win because of you! Really? You think so? I know so. My outfit's really cheesy. <laughs> I painted my skin blue, and now, um, I don't think it's gonna wash off. It's okay, Brookie. You definitely have school spirit. We're gonna win tomorrow, Brookie. I know we are. I hope so, Molly, because I do not want that creepy pink bunny rabbit to be our school <gasps> mascot. Don't worry. With outfits like these, we don't have anything to worry about. We have so much school spirit, it's just beaming out of us. I seriously cannot believe I'm allowing you to dress me up like this. Oh, Sarah, turn that frown upside down. You're the cutest pink bunny rabbit there ever was. <laughs> She's right. You look so adorable. Well, except for that miserable, super frowny face of yours. Come on, you're a cute bunny rabbit. We're totally going to lose. I look ridiculous. Oh, do you girls actually want to win? Of course we do, fair and square. Uh-huh. Daisy, could you go get me some soda? I'm so thirsty. Sure, no problem. Tiffany, come here. Uh, yeah? What is it, Sarah? You're my crony, so you have to do what I say. You're a minion, and that's all you will ever be. What? Rude! But you know it's true. I am queen of the baddies. Now go upstairs and steal Molly and Brookie's spirit outfit for tomorrow. What? That's cheating. Uh-huh. And we definitely want the pink to win, right? Um, yeah. 
Then do as I say, Tiffany. Okay, Sarah. If you say so, if it's the only way to win. <gasps> I'll see you tomorrow, Ricky. Show up bright and early so that we can put on our outfits before school. Okay, Molly, see you then. We're totally gonna win. <laughs> I think I need to go downstairs and have a delicious donut. I can't wait for tomorrow. Totally gonna win this competition. Wow. They're such ignoramuses. They didn't even see me hiding in the hallway. <laughs> now I'll steal their school spirit outfits and they'll lose and Pink will win forever. <laughs> now where did they put them? Day, and the color pink is going to win. Oh, uh, be quiet. It's still too early. Yeah, sleep, Molly, sleep while our team pink wins. You know what? No, I'm up. I'm up. Time to put on my amazing mascot outfit that shows how much school spirit I really have. Uh, as soon as I can open my eyes. One minute, 37 seconds later. Here are our outfits. <gasps> they were right here in, in this drawer. Daisy. Did you take my school spirit outfit? What? Why would I do that? Of course not. Because you said you were gonna win. And that's the only way you would win. Because my outfit and Brookie's outfit, well, Brookie's outfit was a little weird, but mine is amazing. I worked really hard on it. Where is it, Daisy? Why are you accusing me? That's so rude. You took it. No, I didn't. Stop saying that. Well, somebody did because it's missing. Maybe you just misplaced it. I've got to get to school because Pink's about to win. Blue's going to win. You just, you just wait and see. Oh, gosh. Where's my sc school spirit outfit? Oh, no. I think Daisy might have stolen it. Uh -oh. Good morning, Molly. Whoa, did you wake up on the wrong side of the bed? Come on, let's put our outfits on and win this thing. We don't have outfits. <gasps> what? Yes, we do. We worked for hours last night putting our outfits together all in blue so that our blue doge would win as new school mascot. No, they're missing. Wait, wha what? Maybe you just accidentally put them under their bed or something. Maybe your dog ran off with them. We could, we could see if Gracie's in the backyard. Here, girl. Here, girl. <laughs> no, you don't understand. They've been stolen. Wait. What? Do you know what this means? If we don't have a school spirit outfit, then, then, then the pink team will win. And that creepy bunny rabbit's going to be our school mascot forever. Well, maybe not forever. I mean, maybe that rabbit will quit eventually, like, like Shiny Unicorn did. I doubt it. That rabbit just seems creepy enough to hang around forever and ever. Yeah, you're right. What are we going to do? It's hopeless. Ugh. <laughs> Molly, are you seriously crying? Stop that. Get up. I can't. I've given up all hope. Molly, get up. What about never give up and never surrender? Huh? I can't do anything. <gasps> Molly, snap out of it. Put on your game face. We have to come up with new school spirit outfits. And quick. Yeah. Whoever stole our outfit... Things are going to win, but they're not. We're going to show them just how much school spirit we really had. Uh, Molly, I went digging through your Halloween costume bin, and I found this giant fish. It's blue, so it sort of works, right? Uh -oh. Whoa, Molly, your second outfit's even better than the first. You look amazing. Um, I'm afraid I'm not going to be much help, though. I mean, <laughs> I'm a giant fish fish. No one's going to pick me. All of the hope of blue rests on your shoulders, Molly. You have to win school spirit. Or we're doomed to that creepy pink bunny rabbit forever. Ah! Don't worry, Brookie. I've got this. What? What's this? Wow. It looks like pink's already arrived. OMG Daisy! What? Pink for life! For, for us! <laughs> Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. They got a pink stretch limo. 
Yeah, because we're cool and you drool. <laughs> losers. Yeah, <sighs> losers. Molly, don't let this get you down. You still look amazing. You can win school spirit. I promise. I sure hope so. Pig for life. Pig for life. Oh, Tiffany has stage fright. She doesn't want to come out here. Well, it's okay because we look adorable. Put down your sign. No one can see your face. And you want them to see just how much you love pink, right? You're telling me that? Look at your face. You're the grumpy. I just look this way all the time. I'm a baddie. Duh. Vote for pink because we're popular so we know what's cool. The end. Wow, we got a lot of applause. I think that we're going to win. Pink for life. Pink for life. Blue is amazing, and I'm about to tell you why. Blue is the color of the ocean. Calm and amazing and and full of, of amazing secrets we haven't even discovered yet. That's why Bernie dressed as a fish, to show you how vast and deep and amazing the color blue really is. Besides that, blue starts with B, Brookhaven starts with B. It's like it was meant to be. Uh, Brookie, are you seriously a dancing fish right now? Well, it was better than flopping around on the on the floor. I mean, right? Yeah, I guess so. You should pick blue because blue is just amazing. I'm not telling you this is the popular girl. I'm telling you this as somebody who really, really loves blue. I, I think that it should be our school color. And, and I think the doge really fits Brookhaven way more than that creepy bunny webbing. I couldn't agree more. Blue for life. Brookie, did you hear that? I did, Mommy. It sounds like the applause is even louder for the color blue. I think the doge is going to win. Yes! The school has spoken, and the doge wins. Congratulations! Everyone will now wear blue from here on out. Yay! Yay! I win! I get to be the school mascot! What? I wanted to be the school mascot! Why can't I be the school mascot? Everybody thinks I'm creepy! <laughs> Sorry, but you don't get to! <laughs> well, I hope there's a lot of basketballs that fall on your head! <laughs> Okay, Bunny Wabbit, let's not be a sore loser. Congratulations, Doge. You are Brookhaven High's new mascot. Yes! We won, Molly! We did it! Hey, guys! What's up? Welcome to our happy Roblox family um, pick a door edition. That's right, guys. We are going to try to pick the correct answer every time. Well, yeah, except for Dad. You know he's going to lose, like, every single round. What? I'm good at this game, I think. I hope. Yeah, right. You're going to stink at it, Dad. <laughs> You're always terrible at Roblox. One of these weekends, I'm going to practice all weekend, and then I'm going to challenge you guys to a Roblox game. You'll still lose. You'll still lose. <laughs> Guys, baby Kira isn't here because it's past her bedtime, so she's sleeping. All right, guys, better form of communication. My parents are going to pick phone call because you guys are old. What? We're not old. Wait, what? Did I pick Did I pick text? I thought I picked text. Ooh. I died. Wah, 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 wah. See? Uh, the old school way of having a phone call is much better. Everybody agrees. Holy guacamole, you guys didn't pick texting? That's so weird. All right, so this goes by the most popular answer, guys. Popular answer wins. So, where's the rest of my family? Hello, come on. All right, guys, have you p ever picked your nose? Um, uh, uh, uh. Do I have to admit this? Whoa! Ooh. <laughs> Dad! Dad died in the tar! <laughs> I knew Dad was gonna die. He didn't even die at the Ansel. He just totally died, like, in between a door. That's ridiculous. Totally. 
So, Daisy, have you ever picked your nose? I would never. Um, yeah, I pick my nose, like, every day. Ew, Molly. Just kidding, but I knew the answer was going to be yes. Like, look at Only a few people lied and said no. <laughs> Mom even didn't even lie. Uh, I didn't lie either because, like, come on. Everybody's picked their nose in their life at least one time. Whoa. Oh, it's kind of like an obby. Boing, 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 boing. Guys, the family that plays Roblox together stays together. All right, which is better, Android or iPhone? Well, um, Mom, can I get the latest iPhone? Because that's what I pick. Molly, you already have a phone. I know, but I want the latest iPhone. Let's see what everybody picked. Yes! Oh, my gosh, guys. iPhone wins by a lot. It got almost 10 million votes. Whoa, 10 million? How many of you guys have played this game? Uh, I just want to show that I have only died, like, one time, and that was, like, not even in a slide. Okay, yeah, but, Dad, you died in the tar. That's such a noob move. But look at me. I learned my lesson. I'm not going to step in it this time. <laughs> it's kind of like dog poo, Dad. You don't want to step in that either. It's like that. It'll kill you. Which would you rather live in, a treehouse or a cave? Uh, I'm going with treehouse. Yep, totally going with treehouse. Guys, I'm doing good. I've only died one time. Oh, yeah. I picked the right thing. Let's see how long it takes my family. Oh, Daisy picked the right one. Mom and dad, not so much. I eventually picked the right one. Hey, a man cave is so cool. No, dad, a treehouse is so much cooler. Oh, mom picked the wrong one, too. Oopsie, I'm coming. <laughs> I finally made it, but yeah, I totally picked a cave. I wanted to hide so I didn't have to do dishes or, like, no one could find me and make me do chores. Yeah, I can imagine being a grown-up is really hard sometimes. I kind of want to live in a cave, too, whenever I have to do homework. Which came first? I picked the egg. Well, I'm picking the chicken because I think, like, you need to have a chicken to lay an egg. Oh, what? Okay, you guys explain this to me. Which does come first? Caution, radiation area. Oh, it actually let me out of the elevator. Wait, what happened to me? Oh! Everything's gone black. Guys, uh, tell me how uh, y an egg comes first. Like, where's the egg come from? Huh? The egg has to come from the chicken. So the chicken has to come first. That's what I think. Molly, just pick the egg. We're going to be here all day. Speaking of being here all day, where's Daisy? Well, I accidentally thought it was the chicken, too. <laughs> I knew it. I knew it. That's a very confusing question. What do you call this sport? Soccer or football? Um, well, uh, we live in America, so we call it soccer. Yeah, but in other countries, they call it football. Wait, what? Huh. But, but... Okay, the phone's ringing. I'm gonna go answer it. Hello? Hello? What do you think is gonna kill me now? What? I, <laughs> the phone made me blow up? Seriously? That was ridiculous. Best type of bacon? Chewy or crispy? Mm. Crispy! I'm with dad. Ew, chewy bacon is gross. Yay! I finally didn't die! Uh, I think Daisy did though. No, I didn't. I'm right here. It's just, look at those, like, triplets, and they're all the same. OMG! They're like clones of each other. Okay, that's very creepy. No, go away! You're creeping me out! You're creeping me out! All right, happy Roblox family. Let's go this way. Oh, Mom's already there. Which would you rather be, the smartest in the world or the richest in the world? Um, eh, uh, Dad picked the richest! <laughs> Dad and I are very similar. So that's what I picked, too. Oh, God. Uh-oh. Apparently, if you're the smartest, you can also be the richest, so... Oh, God, here goes Piggy! Oh, P-I-G-G-Y. Piggy just killed me. Dad, we're ignoramuses. What? I thought it would be great to be the richest in the world. Yeah, but if you're dumb, you're going to lose all your money. That's why being the smartest is the best, because then you can be smart enough to make all the money in the world or something like that. Yeah, that makes sense. That's exactly how I'm going to be. The smartest in the world and the richest. 
Oh, more tar. Oh my god, be careful. Oh, that girl slid all the way down and then died. Mom, how are you getting ahead of us all the time? Because, Molly, I'm amazing at Roblox. You guys should check out my channel. Mom, this is your channel. Yeah, but you should check out all the videos on my channel. Oh, yeah. Okay, Mom. They they are going to watch all your videos because you're amazing at Roblox. Oh, thanks, Molly. What does she want? I bet she wants to get ice cream after this. Dizzy, shh. Mom, you are also so beautiful. Like the most beautiful woman in the world. You're not old at all. Molly, what do you want? Ice cream! Uh, we'll see. Yeah, we have some in the freezer. Can we have it? Huh, huh, huh. If we don't get done at midnight, yeah, sure. Taco Bell or Chipotle? Uh, Taco Bell, yum. I like their nachos like so much. Their, their beef nachos are so good. With extra sour cream and cheese. Molly, I thought you would like the bean burritos. Oh, uh, yeah, that's just a given. None of us like when you have the bean burritos because then you fart a lot. You mean like this? <laughs> Ew, Molly. <laughs> you guys might want to stay back there. Molly just blew up the world <laughs> with a stink cloud. <laughs> Pancakes or waffles? Ooh, this is a hard one, but I picked the waffles. I'm gonna pick pancakes. Uh, I'm picking pancakes too. I'm waiting to see which one of you died. Okay, because I love them both equally. And Daisy died. See you later, Daisy. We're leaving you behind. What? Molly, no. We have to stay together. Remember, we're family. Uh, we're all lined up. Mom and Dad are like lined up perfectly. Okay, I'm getting in line. Uh, what are we lining up for? <laughs> that looks so weird. Oh, other people are escaping. I want to escape too. Let me out of here! Oh, whoa, and Abby, Dad, you got this. Maybe not, maybe not. I'm t I did just fine! Which would you be- which would be better? Raining marshmallows or raining Skittles? Oh, um, I'm gonna go, um, Skittles. Even though I absolutely love S'mores. They didn't say raining s'mores. They just said raining marshmallows, so. Dad, I think you're actually doing really good in this game. Yeah, honey, you really are. <laughs> it looks like you're wearing mom's hair right now, Dad. It's so weird. <laughs> and again, Daisy's the last to come down the tube. So, we keep choosing the wrong things. This is a lot harder than any other game because I don't think like other people. I'm not an ignoramus. What? We're not ignoramuses. Yay, boy. I'm so smart. I always think outside the box. Daisy, can you hurry up and come down the slide already? It's taking forever. I'll wait for her, Molly. You can go along with Dad. I was already ahead of you, cheapos. How did you get by me? I didn't even see that. That was so weird. Ooh, lasers, Daisy. Yes, I didn't die. That was impressive, I think. Which would be worse? Wearing wet jeans all day or wearing a wet sweater? Ugh. Both sound terrible. I'm gonna go with jeans because I have to take the sweater off and leave my t-shirt on. What? The sweater is worse than the jeans? Ugh. Wearing wet clothes all day is just bad. Oh, God, guys. It's Siren Head. Where can I hide to get away from him? Nowhere. Nowhere! He just, like, lasered me from outside the the elevator. You put your mind to it. Whoa, whoa, whoa. You can do it. Alright, guys. Um, Well, wet jeans was like a close second. Ugh. Both of them sound pretty miserable to me. I know, right? I'm mean, like going to the school nurse like, can I please go home? My clothes are soaking wet. Which would you rather first? The good news or the bad news? I'm with dad. The bad news. Because then the good news can cheer me up after I hear the bad news. What? Oh, really? You guys want the good news first? No. No, 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 no. Wait, what's this local back room? Oh, God. This creepy, weird, strict dad is at his desk. Ooh, can I eat your Doritos? Oh, oh! His head just turned around backwards and he just blew me up. Uh, I guess he doesn't want me to eat the Doritos. Dad, you chose the wrong thing. What are you blaming me? You chose for yourself. Dad, you screwed this one up. 
Um, okay, but still, you chose for yourself. Okay, everybody, I think we all chose the wrong thing. <laughs> yeah, we all wanted to hear the bad news. Whoa, look at this, Abby. Too far to your death, Molly. We all know you're not that great at Abby's. What are you talking about? I'm doing great right now, Daisy. I just beat you to the other side. Ha, ha, ha. And which is more fun? A water slide times a thousand. Yeah, I win, I win, I win, I win, I win. Yeah, a water slide is so much more fun. I mean, I like a roller coaster too, but... I don't think mom and dad like either one of them. They would probably both barf on both of those rides. Yeah, you're probably right, which is why it's taking them so long to come down the slide right now. One eternity later! Where are my parents? Seriously, Daisy. <laughs> Finally, Dad! I was wondering what took you so long. I couldn't decide, and then I picked the wrong one. Exit here! Yay! We made it! I'll see you guys uh, down in the kitchen for some ice cream. Sounds good to me. Mm. I'm going to have um, chocolate ice cream, and then I'm going to um, put peanut butter sauce on the top. It's going to be so good. Daisy, are you coming? Yeah, I was just waiting for Mom. I felt kind of sorry for her. What? You felt sorry for me? What? I did good in this game. Uh-huh. Sure you did, Mom. Okay, guys. Thanks so much for watching us play this silly game together. Uh, we had a lot of fun, but now we're going to go get get like ice cream from the um, freezer in our kitchen. It's going to be super delicious. Mm. I hope you're having a delicious snack too. And I'll see you next time. Bye guys! <laughs> Daisy, put on your bathing suit. Come on, we can go in the hot tub. Ooh, that sounds fun, Molly. I'm putting it on right now. Do you have to sing about it though? Yeah, because look how adorable I look. It's like this 1950s vintage look. Whatever, Daisy. Who cares about your bathing suit? Get in the hot tub. Ooh, the water is too hot. Too hot. Molly, you're being so dramatic. I go hot tub. I go too. No, baby Kira, you're too little. Stay out there. This is for the big kids. Ah, that feels awesome. I go in the hot tub. I go, I go. Ah, uh, you have to ask mom because you're not allowed in here without a grown-up. And we're not grown-ups yet. What's going on out here? I go out that with my Daisy. Sorry, I'm making lunch right now, baby Kara, so you can't, because I can't watch you. But you are going with the big girls. I don't understand why. Well, because you're not a big girl, honey, so you can't go in right now. But maybe later we'll go in, okay? I go get a big girl. Um, baby Kara, newsflash, you're not a big girl. <laughs> Ha! Ah, it starts to, like, make you sweat after a while because this hot tub is so hot! That's what it's supposed to be, Molly? A hot tub? Ay, ay, ay. Do you even pay attention in school? Ugh, being in the hot tub made me super hungry. Hmm, I wonder what kind of snacks we have. No, no. Ooh, pizza! What else do we have? Waffles? Ooh, sounds delicious. Hmm, that all looks good. Yeah, if you want a snack, you're going to have to ask mom. I'm busy right now eating my snack. Okay, I'm not sure that was English, baby Kira. Mm, so good. Too short. Can't wait. Hungry. I know I can't battle. I climb up. I get snack. I, I love snack. Oh, fell out. I climb up here. I win, sir. I win, sir. I can knock too. <gasps> What's going on? Baby, baby Kira, what are you doing with that ladder? You're going to get hurt. Oh, if you need a snack, you have to ask. My Daisy don't ask. I know they don't ask because they're big girls and you're not. All right, get down from that ladder and I'll get you a snack. Ay, ay, ay. Keeping a toddler alive is the hardest job ever. Molly, what you doing? What you doing? OMG! Look at this new Roblox game. It looks so fun. Ooh! Look, there's roller coasters in it. I definitely want to play too. Shove over, Marley. I want a turn. When I die, you can have a turn, but until then, nope. Well, that shouldn't take too long. That's it, Daisy! You are so rude about my Roblox playing. I'm totally gonna get you for that. No, you're not, Marley, because you are so slow. Daisy, get back here! 
Ooh, why do I do fun things on computer? Because I'm big and ooh, shopping. Ooh, bank. I can get into the bank, get money, and go shopping. Baby Kira, where are you? Baby Kira, you're not allowed on the computer without supervision. I'm big girl, I can't. No, you can't. Oh my gosh. Ah, <sighs> get off the computer, please. I can't do anything. <laughs> okay, that's it. You need a nap. But my Daisy don't have to take a nap. That's because they're big girls. You're not a big girl. I don't like it. <laughs> okay, into bed, please. You definitely need a nap. Fine. I hate my life. <laughs> oh my gosh, you hate your life and you're only two? Oh, you have a long way to go, baby Kira. I'll see you in a couple of hours. I don't see you ever. Because, because I'm running away forever. <laughs> Baby Kira, it's been two and a half hours, you sleepyhead. Baby Kira? Where, where's Baby Kira? <gasps> Is that window broken? Oh my god! Baby Kira ran away! Molly, Daisy, I need your help! Mom, if you need my help doing more chores, I'm off duty. Oh, I'm so tired. Just need to watch this adorable puppy and relax. And maybe eat an extra piece of pizza. Mmm. Pizza. Molly, help, help, help. What What are you freaking out about, Mom? What's wrong? Baby Kira, she, 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 she ran away. What? She, she ran away? Yes. I, I don't know what to do, but I'm going to call 911 and you and your sister should go look for her. Okay, I'll get right on that as soon as I finish my pizza. Molly, no. Okay, I'll take my pizza to go. Baby Kira, baby Kira, where are you? I don't need this. I need to do more to do more. I'm a big girl. Baby Kira. Baby Kira, where are you? Baby Kira. Well, maybe she got a hotel room. Wait a minute. How would she do that? She, she doesn't have any money. <gasps> maybe she stole mom's credit card. I should go in and ask the person behind the desk. Hello? Is anybody here? Apparently, they're sleeping in one of the rooms because they're tired. <laughs> I'll just log in myself and see if she's checked in. Baby Kira. Okay, she didn't check into the motel. Hmm. She's sitting in the diner? <sighs> Good thing I ate that pizza because I'm doing a lot of running around. No, she's not in the diner. Baby Kira, where are you? We miss you so much. Wait a minute, if I was Baby Kira, where would I go? The ice cream shop. Although I think they're closed right now because it's already like 7.30 at night. No, no, baby Kira, but they left the doors open, so I think I need a mint chocolate chip ice cream. Mm. Huh, why is my phone ringing? Hello? <laughs> Molly, are you at the ice cream shop right now? Um, uh, uh... How did you know that, Mom? Because I just had an idea that you'd have to stop for a snack. Your sister is more important than mint chocolate chip, right? Uh, yeah, sure, Mom, totally. I've been looking around for her, though, and I don't see her. Keep looking, Molly. I'm so worried. Yeah, me too. But I'm sure everything's going to be okay. I hope so. I really hope so. Baby Kira? What? What are you... What are you doing? You put up a tent? Ew, what's that smell? A sandwich I got from the dumpster. Ew, don't eat dumpster sandwiches. What's going on? Baby Kira? Oh my god, we found her. Baby Kira, you have to come home. I'm never come back home. I don't want you. I stay here. Why? We're your family. Don't you love us? You don't love me. Baby Kira, that's not true. We love you more than anything. Why would you say that? Yeah, baby Kira, why would you say that? Because cause you guys are big girls said that I die. Oh, you're not a big girl? No, you're not. But you know what? Daisy and I were little girls like you once. You were? Yeah, we were, huh, Daisy? Yeah, we were toddlers and we pooped our pants and all sorts of stuff. Well, <laughs> we didn't have to tell her that detail. You did? You wore diapers? And you were big girls? Of course we weren't big girls. <laughs> you don't just come out this way. I mean, you have to grow. Pretty soon, you'll grow up too. Really? 
Dad, can you be good, Duff? Of course you can, Baby Kira. It's only a matter of time before you grow up. Yeah, Baby Kira. And then you'll be able to do all the big kid stuff just like us. Wow, Freddy. How long? Um, just a few more years. Then you'll be a big girl. But you should enjoy being a toddler right now because it's pretty amazing to be a baby. You get lots of snuggles from mom. You get bottles. You get someone to change your diaper. Oh. Molly! Seems like I need someone to change my diaper. <laughs> Ew, dinky. <laughs> so will you come home with us? Yeah, I miss you guys. Oh, we missed you too, baby Kira. No more running away. Yeah, no more running away. I big good someday. That's right, someday you're gonna be a big girl. Daisy, what do you think that our first day of kindergarten will be like? I don't know, Molly. I think it might be really fun, though. I hope so, because I like to do things like look at books, and I hope they teach me how to read. Yeah, they definitely will teach you how to read. I'm sure of it. Hey, look, there's my big girls. I can't believe it. Tomorrow's your first day of kindergarten. Oh, I feel a little happy and a little sad. Oh, you're not babies anymore. Why is mom crying? I don't know. She said she feels a little happy and a little sad. Probably because she won't see us all day. That's exactly right, Molly. Ah, but time to wipe my tears because I'm so excited for you girls. Are you girls excited? I am. I can learn how to read. Oh, you are going to learn how to read. Are you excited, Molly? I'm really excited because I get to eat school lunch and I heard their pizza is delicious. Of course you'd be most excited about school lunch. Okay, girls, well, I need you to hop into bed. It's getting late, and you don't want to be tired on your first day of school. Good night, girls. I love you. I love you too, Mom. Love you, Mom. Wow, my first day of school. Can't even believe it. Night, Molly. Night, Daisy. Wake up! It's the first day of school! What? It's not even light time. It's not even light out yet. That's what I meant to say. Too tired, I can't even talk. Come on, girls! You have to wake up or you're going to miss the bus. It's the first day of kindergarten. Oh, yeah! Today's our first day! Daisy, wake up! I'm already awake, Molly. Ow! Stop stepping on my toe! Sorry. <laughs> Just really excited. Okay, girls, come on, let's go have breakfast. The school bus will be here in 20 minutes. Oh, yeah, don't forget to put your school outfits on. Oh, boy, my new outfit. Okay, I'll put my school outfit on. Molly, we're big kids now. Yeah, totally, kindergarten. I like your outfit. I like your outfit. Come on, let's go have breakfast. I'm so excited for school. It's going to be so much fun. Mom, I'm ready for kindergarten. Mom, look at me. Look at, look at, look at, look at. Oh, you look adorable. Okay, here. You know, just each take a banana because the school bus is pulling up right now. I want an apple. Okay, fine, whatever. <laughs> Have a good first day. I will. Wait, I don't see the school bus. Oh, wait. <gasps> ah, it's down the street. Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Daisy, hurry. Coming, bye. Good morning. Oh, you almost missed the bus. Yeah, I didn't miss it, though. I didn't miss it. Um, you can't ride up there, sweetie. <laughs> you have to ride inside the bus. Why are you dressed like that? Well, I was going to be a NASCAR star, but that didn't work out, so I'm just living my dreams as a school bus driver. All right, everybody. First day of school. Here we come. <laughs> early. Molly, get up. Don't hit that snooze button. You're going to miss the school bus. Don't care. Don't care. So tired. But maybe if you didn't stay up all night playing Roblox, you wouldn't have this problem. Ugh. Ugh. So tired. Can't get up. Can't wake up. Are you sleeping in your school clothes? Why did you do that? 
because I don't want to take the time to actually get ready in the morning. That takes way too much time. Ew, Molly, gross. Daisy, what are you wearing? My Billy Eilish shirt and my Harry Potter inspired glasses. What are you wearing? Your braces? Yeah, but not by choice. Ugh, everyone in middle school is going to tease me when they see these. You mean call your metal mouth, brace face? Yeah, did you have to, like, bring that up, Daisy? Well, I'm just saying that's probably what they're going to call you. Thanks for making me feel better about it. I'm going back to bed. Molly, don't you dare! <sighs> Molly, are you just pretending to be asleep? No, not at all. Molly, you can't skip school just because you got braces! Oh, look, there's the school bus. There's no way I'm going to get down there in time now. Oh, looks like I missed school today. Oh, well. What am I going to do with my day today? Maybe I'll have some popcorn. Wait, I can't have that because I have braces. Maybe I'll have some, like, candy. Oh, wait, I can't have that because I have braces. Molly, what are you doing? Did you miss the school bus? Um, uh, the school bus missed me. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Well, good thing you got that new bike because you're going to do some pedaling. What? I have to ride my bike to school? Mom, I can't go to school today. Yes, Molly, you're going to school. But it's the first day of middle school and I have these ugly braces. Why did I have to get them? Like, seriously. Because your teeth were crooked and you needed them. Consider yourself lucky. Braces are very expensive. And you're a lucky kid that you got them. Lucky? Look at my face. Ugh. Molly, don't worry. Lots of other kids will have braces. Now, get on your bike and get rolling. Oh, man. First day of middle school is going terribly. If A plus B equals C times D, then what will E equal? Oh, algebra. Ugh, you are so difficult. Excuse me, I'm here to be seated, please. Oh, sorry, hi. Uh, I'm working here, and I'm also trying to get all my homework done. Wait, are you my old bus driver? Oh, yeah, how are you? I'm doing good. Here, come right over here. You can sit in this last booth if you want. Sounds good. You still think you're going to be a NASCAR star? I sure do. Never give up on your dreams. Never, ever, Molly. I don't plan on it. <laughs> um, okay, so what do you be having? Um, I'll have a cheeseburger, some french fries, and a chocolate milkshake. Okay, would you like whipped cream on your chocolate milkshake? Absolutely. <laughs> Who doesn't? You'd be surprised. Some people want raisins on their milkshake. Ew. Okay, um, so I just got to make this food, and I've got to finish up my algebra. So I'll do the algebra first. Okay, so when I do this, this equation. Hello, is anyone gonna bring me my food? Oh no, I forgot about our food. Okay, I just gotta prepare it really fast. Never mind, I'll just go to Starbucks. Ugh, terrible customer service. Sorry, I'm trying to juggle it all. Oh man. My boss is going to want to fire me now. And I really need this job because I have to save up for college. Oh, good thing the diner is about to close. Oh, so tired. So tired. I wish I could go back to, to middle school or even elementary school where I didn't have so much homework and so much work. Oh. 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 Oh, hey, Marley. How was work? Oh. So bad. And I didn't get all my algebra work done. You know, Molly, if you had paid attention in elementary and middle and most of high school, you would have got scholarships like me. Then you wouldn't have to pay for college. Whatever. This is how I did it. No, no, no. I have to just live with it now. Oh, I have to go to bed. I'm so exhausted. Molly, aren't you going to take your uniform off? No. Not even. Not even. Oh. It is not morning yet! It is not morning, alarm clock! Oh, I can't do this another day. This is too much pressure! I hate adulting! Oh, I'm going to go back to being in kindergarten. I'm going back! I'm going back! Good morning, Molly! Whoa, someone woke up on the wrong side of the bed. Whoa, Molly! Ew, what's that smell? It's Molly. She didn't take a bath after she came home from the dino. Then she wore that as pajamas. 
Ew, Molly. Ah, no one talk to me. Oh, look, the bus is here. Have a good day, to girls. I am never gonna have a good day ever again. Oh, that's a bit dramatic, Molly. You know, Molly, all you have to do is turn that frown upside down. Daisy, don't mess with me. Don't mess with me. Oh, here's NASCAR driver. Good morning! Oh, you're the one that gave me terrible service at the diner last night. Sorry, I tried my best. Ugh, I have the most stressful high school life ever. Don't listen to her. She's a total grump monster. <laughs>
No, Marty, that would be fairly unsafe. Of course I'm not going to do that. But I really want to prove to you that Dad's not actually working today. Yeah, right, Marty. I know Dad. He's a workaholic. He'll be at work today for sure. Besides, he said he was really busy. Yeah, but busy doing what? That's the question. Ooh, should we stop for some pizza? No, Molly, it's not even lunch yet. Hey, wait a minute. Who's that? Is that, is that Dad? No, couldn't be. He's got to be at the office. Get a little closer, Daisy, but don't let him know that it's us. O-M-G! What's he doing? Oh, my gosh! Dad is sitting there at Ben's ice cream eating a chocolate ice cream! OMG, Ma Molly, I don't think that's even Dad. Daisy, of course it's Dad. Who else would it be? An alien that's taking the place of our Dad. I know Dad would be at the office. Think again! <laughs> Looks like he's having a delicious ice cream, and he's about to go on the Ferris wheel! I can't believe it! Dad ditched work, and he told us he was super busy. Yeah, super busy having a great time while we're at school being bored out of our minds. Oh my gosh! He went to the ice cream shop and he went on the on the on these rides without us. Rude! Okay, Daisy, we better go hide behind that building before he sees us. Yeah, good point. Uh, Daisy, I meant with the car. Oh. <laughs> He's gonna know it's our car, Jeepers Creepers. Okay, let's drive over there, just like out of the way a little bit, so he doesn't see us. Daisy, what, what, what are you doing? Daisy, you're gonna drive into the water! Okay, I just didn't know what to do. Is this better? Yeah, that's good. Okay, good. What's he doing, Molly? Looks like he's having a great time on the Ferris wheel. That's what. Looks like he's done on his Ferris wheel ride, Molly. Yeah, but the question is, where is he going to go next? He's probably just taking an early lunch. He'll be going right back to the office for sure. Are you sure Dad still has a job? Maybe he got fired. That's hilarious. Of course, Dad didn't get fired. <laughs> Wait a minute. Where's he going now? He's getting on his motorcycle. Wait, Dad has a motorcycle? Yeah, it's really old, though. Like, he never rides it. Wow, things are seeming so weird. Come on, let's follow him. Do you see him, Molly? Yeah, he's right there. He's parked up behind this building. What do you think he's doing? I don't know, Molly. Maybe he's got a flat tire. No, he's at he's at the car store. What's he doing over there? I don't know. Maybe he's going to buy a new vehicle or something. <gasps> With all that money? Oh, my gosh. What, did he rob a bank or something? <laughs> Molly, I don't think so. Oh, my gosh. That person looks just like me. Whoa, Molly. You also sell motorcycles. Holy guacamole. I didn't know that there was someone that worked here that looked just like me. That's kind of creepy. Hi there, how can I help you today? Oh, hey, um, yeah, I'm looking to trade in my bike because this one's, like, really old. I'm gonna buy, like, a brand new one. Jiminy Cricket! What's Dad thinking? That's gonna be, like, $60,000! Um, well, um, yeah, you know how expensive this is, right? Absolutely. <laughs> this is gonna be so awesome. Okay, okay! Dad, what, what are you doing? Molly, what are you doing? You're supposed to be at school right now. Why aren't you at school? Oh, yeah. Blame it on me. Why aren't you at work? Work? <laughs> what about work? Uh, you know, your job, the thing you go to, the thing that pays for all of our food and our toys and and and, and our vacations. And did I mention our food? Because, you know, I like to eat. And I'm really hungry right now. I need lunch. Should we go to lunch? Molly, stick to the point. Well, if you're not at your job, you're going to get fired. Um, no, I won't. Why? Because I took the day off. What? You can do that? Yeah, of course you can when you're a grown-up. But not that often or you'll get fired. Whoa, whoa, whoa. So what you're telling me is grown-ups get to take a day off. But, you know, the kids, the kids have to go to school every single day. We never get a day off. You guys get plenty of days off. Holidays. You get those off, too. Oh, yeah, good point. No, I guess you really don't get personal days. Well, I took a personal day. <laughs> Molly, what happened? Um, well, I found out that Dad took a personal day. A personal day? What's that? It's basically where grown-ups get to say, ah, I'm not doing any work today, and get to go do whatever they want. 
and they could still get paid for it. What? We don't get personal days from school! Yeah, my point exactly. Oh, being a kid is so unfair! <laughs>
thinking coming on this trip? Um, I think it's going to be better tomorrow. I hope. Let's uh, just try to get some shut eye. With the bear trying to stick his head in my window? I'm not going to sleep a wink. OMG, this bear is still bugging us. Uh, yeah, and um, guys, don't look now, but there's a tornado coming our way. What? Um, honey, I would suggest driving super fast. Okay, I'll, I'll try to get down into the canyon. That maybe the, the bear will be gone and, and the tornado won't follow us. Ah, uh, great idea, this spring break trip. Uh, yeah, couldn't think of a better thing to do on my spring break than almost die! Honey, um, just try to drive as safe as possible. You want me to drive fast? You want me to drive safe? Which one do you want? Okay, I think, I think the tornado is passed. I wouldn't be so sure about that. We'll know more once we get around this corner. Uh, no, but it's definitely where we just were, so it's probably good that we actually left there. Okay, well, let me see if I can keep driving us somewhere safe. That cave looks pretty safe. How about in there? Yeah, we can ride out the storm in here. Oh my gosh, this has been the craziest vacation ever! I saw on the map that there's a spa nearby. I want to go to the spa! I want to go to the spa! The spa? But look at the great outdoors. It's so beautiful. Yeah, with the bears and the tornadoes. I need the spa. I need it! Wow, this place looks amazing! Yeah, <laughs> this is my kind of spring break. Where's your guys' sense of adventure? Adventure? <laughs> I see what adventure gets us. Bears chasing me and biting me. No, thank you. I would like something delicious to drink and eat. And wait a minute, is that a hot tub? Ooh, yes, please. Ah, that feels amazing. Now, this is what I'm talking about. A little rest and relaxation. Right, Dan? Yeah, I guess. Oh, Dan, are you sad? Yeah, I wanted to have a great outdoors adventure. Well, this is outdoors, Dad, and it's a pretty great adventure. Look at this water slide. Whee! <laughs> <Whoa! laughs> hey, uh, what? There was a bear in there. Oh, my God. Are you kidding me? There's a bear going down the water slide. Actually, the bear is trying to climb up the water slide. <laughs> He's gonna get stuck up there. He's too fat. Why is he going up the water slide? My guess is to eat you, Molly. Oh my gosh. Look, there's a bear in the water slide. <laughs> this has been the craziest vacation ever. Can we still camp out in tents? But Dan, there's a nice hotel right here. I don't want to stay in the hotel. I wanted this to be really amazing. Okay, well... Yes, I guess we can still sleep in a tent. As long as you can promise me that the bear isn't going to eat us. Uh, I think he might be too busy being stuck in the water slide. So, I don't think we have to worry about too much. Crazy bear. <laughs> crazy, crazy bear. Okay, family. Everybody back in the camper. We're going to go find a place to put up our tent. Oh, I just want to stay at the spa. Me too. It's amazing here. But your father is set on having a camping adventure. So let's give him what he wants. Look at this view, Molly. Isn't it beautiful? Yeah, um, but it's getting dark and there's a lot of creepy animals that come out of dark. Don't worry, Molly. They're afraid of fires. So as long as we keep this fire burning, no bears will come to our campsite. Really? Okay, well, I guess that's a good thing. <laughs> I don't like being bit by bears very much. Now, your mom and your sister should be back with more firewood. Uh, Dad? Um, I think we might have a problem. What? I think this place is perfect. It's another tornado! Oh, why can't this vacation just go the way I want to? I mean, I think we should probably pack up and head home. No, we're staying in the tent. Tornado, go away! Uh, Dad, I don't think the tornado listens. And wait a minute, where's Daisy? Help! I'm stuck in the tornado! Oh boy, 
This is going to be a vacation to remember. I'm not late. I'm not late. Yes, you are, Marley. You were supposed to be here by now. Yes, but I still have, um, let me look at my watch. Uh, five seconds to get into class. <laughs> no smiling? That's right. I'm not feeling like I'm in a very smiley mood today. Whoa, who's this substitute teacher? I don't know, but something tells me it's not going to be a very nice day. Are you still smiling? Seriously, there's no smiling in my class. You can't help it. My face froze this way. It's so cold outside. <laughs> Wasn't that funny? Froze that way because it's so cold outside. Molly, she's not laughing. Excuse me, excuse me, excuse me. Yes, you in the front. What's your name? Molly, um, are you calling on me? Yes, Molly, what is it? I have to go potty. I have to go, I have to go, I have to go. You had plenty of time before class. Why are you choosing to go now? Well, I can't help it when I have to go to the bathroom. It's kind of out of my control. Why do teachers always say that? Like, like you can decide when you have to go to the bathroom. Hello? Not a choice. <laughs> I really have to go. She really does. Ew. She had beans for breakfast, obviously. Fine, but make it quick. <laughs> yeah, like another thing teachers say, make it quick. Like, I can really decide when I have to go to the bathroom and stuff. Like, seriously. I'm going to text Brookie right now. Hey, don't act like you don't text people when you're going potty. <laughs> don't even lie about that right now. Everybody gets on their phone when they're on the toilet. It's just, it's just like the real world. Oh, whoops. I forgot to turn off my phone. Oopsie. Whose phone just went off? This is school, not social hour. It's Molly. She's texting me from the bathroom. What? Why would she be doing that? Ay, ay, ay. She's just going to get another detention. It's just the way that it is. Rookie, why didn't you text me back? Excuse me, were you the one that texted her? Um, yeah. There's no texting in this school. It's a rule. Except for when you're at lunch or recess. Are you at lunch or recess? Um, uh, I'm always thinking about lunch. So I'm saying yes, I'm at lunch. Detention. <laughs> but not by me, I'm a substitute. So I'll write your teacher a note. Oh, man. Rookie, that class was crazy, right? Uh-huh, sure, crazy. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Um, So what are you doing after school? I don't have detention because the substitute didn't want to stay for it. So we could hang out. Uh, no, I, I don't think so. <gasps> Wait, what? Brookie, we hang out every single day after school. Well, on the days that I don't have detention, that is. No, I, I'm i not going to hang out with you. Um, okay. I have to get to class now. Goodbye. Um, bye. That was weird. Brookie always wants to hang out with me after school. Man, I hope I didn't do something wrong. I mean... I always text her when I, like, escape off to the bathroom during class. And maybe it got her in trouble and she got mad at me. I don't know. I'll talk to her about it at lunch. Ugh, none of this even looks like something I would consume. Hey, Brookie, doesn't everything look delicious? No, I'm not going to eat anything. Why, you got the stomach flu? No, I just don't want to eat anything, okay? Whoa, Brookie, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. Well, um, you could drink some of this water. Whoa, be careful with that, Molly. Oh, uh, sorry, I didn't mean to almost spill water on you. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm doing everything wrong today, Brookie. It, it's fine. Just, just don't spill water on me, okay? Why? Are you going to short circuit or something? <laughs> uh, no, that, that's not even funny, okay? All right. Sorry. What's going on with my BFF? I mean, seriously. Hi, Large Marge. Everything looks delish today. Oh, so glad you like it. I was going to put anchovies on the pizza, but I know you kids don't like that too much. It's good protein, though. Ew, fish on my pizza? Don't even think about it, Large Marge. Why are you so sad, Molly? Well, you see, my best friend is... She's just acting differently. Oh, well, maybe she's just having a bad day. We all have those. Yeah. 
Maybe. I need to find out what Brookie's doing right now. She doesn't want to hang out at my house. That's so weird. She was grumpy and jumped back from the water that I almost spilled on her. I mean, well, that's not that weird, but sort of. I want to know what's going on with her. Are we not BFFs anymore? I have to make sure she knows that I'm not spying on her. She finds that out, man. She won't want to be my friend at all. What's she working on? One more adjustment and it be perfect. What is that? Brookie doesn't work on things in the garage. <gasps> my best friend is a robot! Is somebody there? Hello? Oh, better run. Oh my god. My best friend! She's not real! She's a robot! I gotta tell Daisy. Daisy! 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 Molly, shh. I'm trying to do my homework. Big surprise there, but, 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 but. Whoa, you look like you've seen a ghost, Molly. Have you? Um, because that would be creepy and we should probably move out of Brookhaven. No, worse. Worse than a ghost? What could it be? My best friend, Brookie, sh 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 she's a, a robot. What? What are you talking about? Look, all of the signs point towards robot. She didn't want to hang out after school. Weird. She didn't want me to spill water on in the lunchroom because I think she would short circuit. Weird. Then I just went by her house to spy on her and... You spied on your best friend? I had to. And turns out she's not my best friend. She's a robot version of my best friend. I saw her building something for her robotness. Body. Whatever you want to call it. Robotness? Is that even a word? <laughs> uh, no. I just made it up. But anyway. Why didn't they come to me to school people on how to speak um awesome words? I obviously know what I'm doing. What? What are you even talking about? <laughs> anyway. I'm telling you, she was working on her robot body. Holy guacamole! You don't believe me, do you, Daisy? You never believe me. You always say these are tall tales, fairy tales. Oh, this is no fairy tale, Molly. And yes, I believe you. Truth is, robots have come a long way in the last 10 years. And I think this is absolutely a possibility. You do? Oh, I was kind of hoping you'd say that I was being ridiculous. No, Molly, we definitely have to test it. See if it's a robot or not. Yeah, tomorrow we'll spill lunch on Robot Brookie and see what happens. Good plan, Molly, good plan. There she is, Dizzy. We can prove that she's a, she's a robot now. I hope everything goes as planned, Molly. Robots can be totally psycho. Yeah, here goes nothing. Hey, Brookie! Oh, hey, Molly, what's up? Hey, um, I, I just have to prove something to my sister. What are you doing with that water can? Do I look like a flower to you? No, but sorry about this. What? What are you doing? You're getting me soaking wet. Stop that. I have to go through the whole rest of the day now with wet clothes. Uh-oh. Wait, why aren't you short-circuiting? What? More water. More water is needed. Molly, it's obvious your science experiment has failed. What? Wait, what? What are you guys doing? My sister thought you were a robot. Yeah, you are a robot, aren't you? What? <laughs> are you serious right now? <laughs> you thought I was a robot? What? Why? Because first you didn't want to hang out with me after school. Weird. Then you did not want to eat any lunch. Robots don't eat food. And you were freaking out I was going to spill water on you because you would short circuit. Is she for real right now, Daisy? I'm afraid so. Then I came and spied on you and you were working on something in the garage. What? Uh -oh. You spied on me? That's just rude. Well, what were you working on in the garage, huh? 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 Um, my science fair project? Oh. Oopsie! Wow, they should have like some sort of show about this. Ah, uh, it would be really good. <laughs> the lives of cafeteria students. Yeah, I can see it now. <laughs> Large Marge, that's a great idea. Um, we're sorry, Bookie. I'm really sorry for believing my sister's craziness. Hey, I, 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 I just couldn't figure out what was going on with you, Bookie. Well, it's okay, Molly. I'm sorry if I have been acting kind of like a robot. I guess that's what happens when you haven't slept good for two weeks. What? You haven't slept good for two weeks? 
Why? Well, let me explain. Ugh, that is so loud. I can't sleep. I'm so tired of this. That's it. My new band is awesome. Oh my gosh. What are you doing? It's midnight. Huh? What's, what's that, sister? I said it's midnight and I haven't gotten any sleep. Well, my first gig is this Saturday and I need to practice, okay? I want to be the best I can be. Well, practice at a normal time. Obviously, you don't know anything about musicians. We stay up late, sleep all day. Ugh! So that's why I've been acting a little bit like a robot lately. I feel like a robot with no sleep. I haven't even wanted to eat anything, really. I've just been so tired. Well, you could do what I do and just leave class and say, I have to go to the bathroom and then fall asleep on the toilet. <laughs> Molly! What? Sometimes I need a little nap. That actually doesn't sound like a bad idea. I think I'm going to go try it. I'm glad you're not a robot, Brookie. Um, yeah, me too. And I'm glad we're still friends. We're friends, right? Of course we are, Molly. I know how zany and crazy you can be sometimes. And I still love you because you're my BFF. Aww. Thanks, Brookie. Thanks. Daisy, I'm so excited about our sleepover with Brookie, aren't you? Totally, Molly. This is going to be so much fun, but what are we actually going to do at this sleepover? I thought we'd watch a movie, eat popcorn, maybe do like a dance-off, watch TikTok videos, and play Roblox, of course. Whoa, that sounds like so much fun. Molly, look, it's Brookie. Brookie! Hey, what's up? Come on in. Whoa, your bag looks really heavy. Are you staying for a night or a week? <laughs> I wish I could spend the night for an entire week, but my mom's too strict for that. I really had trouble um, getting her to agree to let me spend the night for one night. Well, then we'd better make it the night of our lives. Dizzy and I were just talking about the fun things we could do. Really? Is Roblox on the list? Is watching TikTok on the list? Is eating popcorn and watching a movie on the list? Check, check, and check. All of those fun things are on the list. I knew you guys would have the best sleepover ever. I'm gonna go put my stuff upstairs. No problem, Brookie. I'll start on the popcorn. Uh, Molly, you might want to come here, my baby. I'm trying to get the popcorn, Daisy. What is it? Um, someone's at the door. Are you going to let me in or are you just going to stand there? Jeepers. Uh, Sarah? What are you doing here? Ugh, I guess I'll open the door for myself. Rude. Uh, Sarah, okay, I didn't actually invite you in, but all right, um... What are you doing here? I came for the sleepover, duh. I got the invitation in my desk at school. What? Wait, you sat at Brookie's desk today. Yeah, I can sit in any desk that I want. Well, that's why Brookie didn't get the invitation and I had to call her and invite her. Uh-oh, Sarah actually got Brookie's invitation. Wait, so you didn't actually invite me? Remember, Molly, don't stoop to her level. Don't be a bully. Um, well, um, yeah, sure. Of course I invited you. That's what I thought. I'm such a popular girl. Like, who wouldn't want me at their sleepover? Oh, Sarah, um, hi. What are you doing here? I'm here for the sleepover. I got an invitation. Duh. She got an invitation? Molly, are you feeling okay? Yeah, I just thought it would be nice to have another friend join us for the sleepover. Well, whatever. Now that we've agreed that I was invited, ugh, duh. Can we actually have the sleepover? Like, what are we doing? We're doing so many fun things. We're watching a movie. We're playing Roblox. We're watching TikTok. What? Boring, boring, boring. Everyone knows that cool and grown-up sleepovers are always stay up all night challenges. What? Stay up all night? But we have school in the morning. So? If you don't want to be a loser and you want to have a super fun, super cool sleepover, you take the don't sleep in Brookhaven challenge. Duh. Well, um, what do you guys think? I'm gonna do it because I'm gonna be cool. I don't know. I need my beauty sleep. You sure do. Okay, Sarah, no being rude. Ugh, all right. I'd say sorry, but I'm not that nice. <laughs> it's okay, Sarah, we know. <laughs> what are you laughing about? I didn't tell you to laugh. Ah, uh, this is my house, Sarah. I can laugh if I want to. <laughs> oh no, I've got the giggles. 
no, oh no. <laughs> Stop making me laugh. I can't breathe. <laughs> I can't breathe. Ugh, <laughs> oh, I can tell this sleepover is going to be very annoying. <laughs> I'll be okay. Just give me a minute. <laughs> give me a minute. Oh my gosh, those TikTok videos of kittens are so cute. Lame. Okay, well, watch these TikTok videos of these dogs. Also lame. Oh, it's 11 o'clock. I'm getting so tired. Don't forget, we're taking the No Sleep in Bookhaven Challenge. Yeah, um, maybe we should start playing Roblox. That'll keep us awake. Good idea. Nothing keeps you awake like playing Brookhaven. You live in Brookhaven. I know, but I'm going to play Brookhaven on Roblox while I'm living in Brookhaven. Whoa, mind blown. Oh my God. What is Granny doing in, in, in Brookhaven? And there's Piggy and they'll go after you. Don't worry. I've got my supersonic rocket launcher. I'll take care of them. Whoa, Sarah. Oh, I'm getting very tired. Me too. Oh, it's almost midnight. I'm so tired. Me too. Hey, wait a minute. I have an idea. I'll be right back. Where is she going? She's doing laps around the house, maybe to wake her up. Uh, that's actually a good idea, but I'm really lazy, so that just makes me more tired. There it is. This ought to wake me up. Nothing's gonna wake me up. Me either. Oh, really? How about this? Molly, what are you doing? Molly, quit squirting us with the with that the, the, the fire extinguisher, you Looney Tune! Oh no! Here it comes again! I'm so giggly! <laughs> That's because you're so tired, Molly. I'm tired too. Oh, I think it's going to make me fall asleep. No sleeping! No sleeping! Okay, okay! I'm awake! I'm awake! Wait, no! No, no, I, I, I'm not. Well, there's one down, two left to go. Brookie, wake up! Wake up! You, you need to wake up! <laughs> Brookie? It's no use, Molly. She's down for the count. Like I said, <laughs> two down, one down. What? Are you talking wrong, Sarah? Are you getting sleepy? No, I just was terrible at counting for a second. Anyway. One down, two to go. You mean three? You're in this competition too. <laughs> There's no competing with me. I'm amazing at everything. Except for being nice. You're not very good at that. <laughs> oh boy, Molly. Good thing I brought this Starbrooks. Two hours later. So tired. So incredibly tired. Molly, you need some coffee and stat. Yeah. And not just a cup, a bucket of coffee. Somebody get me a straw. Bing! I'm awake, 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 and I'm gonna win this no sleep challenge. Oh no, she's gone to hyper speed. Holy guacamole, that's a lot of caffeine, Molly. That was a probably a bad idea. Oh my god, I'm so awake. Oh my... Uh-oh. I drink too much coffee. Now I gotta go poo-poo! Oh! That's what happens when you drink too much coffee, Molly. Whoa! Oh, I'm so tired. I... I... Dizzy, wake up! Wake up! Wake up! Nope. Not happening. I'm going... Down. Uh. <laughs> Well, loser, it just looks like it's you and me. Well, I'm not a loser yet. <laughs> looks like I'm going to beat you at this competition. I don't think so. Jeepers, I thought all that coffee would keep me awake. But it's so late, I, 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 I'm just falling asleep. La da da, la da da. Go to sleep so I can win this competition. Sarah, you're cheating! What, me? Never. Ugh, you don't even have an angelic voice, but you're still kind of making me tired. You know you want to close your eyes, 
Go to sleep and I'll give you a surprise. Yeah, the surprise will be you'll win. I don't think so. What are you doing in your bathing suit? I'm going outside to wake myself up. It's 20 degrees outside. Exactly, that should wake me up. Oh, this isn't too bad. Too cold, too cold, too cold. Wake up, Molly, wake up, wake up, wake up. You will not lose this challenge. You will not. I can do anything that I put my mind to. I'm gonna win this challenge if it's the last thing I do. There, I'm awake. Oh, poor Brookie. She hardly lasted at all. Daisy did a little better, but... Not that better. Where is Sarah? She seemed to have disappeared. Maybe she went in here for a snack. There she is over there. What's she doing? She's sleeping, sitting up in the chair. <laughs> I won! I won! Everybody wake up. I won, I won, I won. I won, I won, I won, I won, I won. <laughs> Best day, well, and night, and day, and... Wait, what, what day is it? Ugh, I'm too tired. <laughs> but I won! <sighs> this is the life, just chilling out. Oh, it's been such a long day. Marty! Oh, there you are, Marty. Hey, do you want to go down to the Book Haven ice cream shop with me? What? The ice cream shop? Of course I do. That sounds delicious. I'm going to get... Mm, uh, uh, knock, knock. Is anyone home? Oh, my gosh. This day just keeps getting better. My best friend's here. Hey, Brookie. Hey, guys. What's up? I just came over to see if you wanted to hang out. Totally. Let's hang out. At the ice cream shop, of course. Yeah, we were just about to leave for some ice cream. Oh, um, yeah, could we just hang out here? What? Why? Brookie, why are you so sad? Ugh, I can't go for ice cream. Why not? Ice cream's delicious. Are you lactose intolerant? Yeah, sometimes uh, eating dairy makes me... <coughs> Molly, rude! <laughs> sometimes cupcakes does it to me, too. And occasionally when I eat beans. Oh, Molly, that's stinky. Oh, Brookie, maybe we should go without Molly. Actually, you two go. Um, I'll just, I'll wait here till you get back. Brookie, what is going on? Why don't you want to get ice cream with us? Yeah, Brookie, why? Um, okay, I, I can't afford to go. I don't have any money. Oh, well, why didn't you say so? We'll buy your ice cream. You will? Really? You guys don't have to do that. I don't want you to spend your money on me. No, it's fine. We want you to come along. And we want you to have a delicious ice cream cone, too. So, come on, let's all go together. Okay, if, if you really don't mind. Wow, Brookie, <laughs> you beat me here. <laughs> you must be pretty excited about the ice cream. I haven't gotten ice cream all summer. I'm poor. I don't have any money. But I love ice cream. Well, get two scoops on me, then. Mm, I'm having my favorite mint chocolate chip. What are you going to have, Brookie? Where's Daisy? She's so slow. I'm coming, I'm coming! Rookie, I have the slowest sister on the planet. Well, she did say that she was just a little tired today. Nothing some ice cream won't fix, right, Brookie? What kind did you get? Um, I got this blue kind. I'm not sure what kind it is yet, though. Um, that's bubblegum, Brookie. Ooh, bubblegum! That's super crazy! I got birthday cake! <sighs> yeah, it took me a long time to get healed. I noticed! Mm. Two scoops of ice cream. You guys are the nicest for buying me ice cream. I don't know what I'd do without my best friends. Probably be at home without any ice cream. <laughs> but lucky for you, we have lots of money. Well, we don't have a lot, a lot of money, but we have enough to buy you ice cream. I have no money. So sick of being poor. Well, money isn't everything. Yeah, Blucky. Sure feels like it when you don't have any. Can't do anything fun. Can't go on school trips. Can't get ice cream. It's just plain, well, awful. Well, today you can have ice cream with us. Mmm, and it's good. Uh, are you guys ready? I, I, I think I should be heading home now. Sure, we could go if you want to. Let's go. Come on, Brookie. I'll race you home. <laughs> Last one to the 
street is a rotten egg. Rookie, are you coming? Are you, oh, you're so slow. Come on, Rookie. Molly, don't be mean to Blinky. Yeah, Molly, don't be mean to me. Besides, you're the one that I'm leaving in the dust. Only because I turned around to see where you were. Molly, I am so sick of being poor. Well, I'm sorry, Brookie, but it sounds like maybe it's just the way it is for you. Maybe. Ugh, I just want to have a nice house like this one. Whoa. It looks like you have a pretty good imagination because this house is like a million dollars. I know, but I just really love it. Maybe someday when you're a grown up, you can have this house. Yeah, maybe. Well, I'll see you tomorrow, Molly. Bye! Molly, what are you doing right now? It's almost time for class. Um, believe it or not, I'm actually studying. What? No, you're not. You're probably on YouTube. No, for reals. I'm actually studying for the math test. Holy guacamole! Feel the earth move! Molly is actually studying! Who's that? Holy guacamole! That's the coolest car I've ever seen! What car, Molly? I don't see a car. That's because you're turned around backwards, Daisy. <laughs> you have to be looking outside. Whatever, Marty. I was concentrating on, on the, on the wall. Okay, Daisy, you might not be awake yet. Do you need some coffee? I kind of do, Marty. I kind of do. Holy guacamole, Rookie? What, what are you? Are you? Are you wearing Louis Vuitton? Yeah. <laughs> sure. Of course I am. Whoa. And is that your car? Yeah. <laughs> it's brand new. Do you guys like it? Uh, yeah. Holy guacamole. It even says her name on the front of it. Oh, wow. I love your new car. Thanks. Well, we better get to math class. We don't want to be late or we'll fail our test. But I have so many quests. Okay. I guess I'll have to ask her the questions later. You can't ask questions during the math test, Molly. Well, it wasn't about the math test. It was about how did she afford all that? Molly, that's rude. Don't ask people about their money. Where's the teacher? Ha ha ha! There's no teacher, no math test. Mmm, this Coca-Cola is really good. Molly, where's your lunch? Well, I sort of spent all of our money at the ice cream shop yesterday. Oopsie. Oh, <laughs> hey guys, no worries. I can totally buy you lunch. Wait, what? You couldn't even afford an ice cream cone yesterday. Now you have a new car, new clothes, and you have money for buying our school lunch? What is going on right now? Um, yeah, I'm cool. Look at all this cash. Now, what do you guys want? Um, I'd like some pizza, please. And a drink and some Doritos. Marty, cheap was you eating everything. Uh, yeah, that's sort of the plan. Mmm, that's pretty good. Cheap was creep was thanks, Bookie. That was really nice of you. Don't mention it, guys. Mm, what am I going to have for lunch? Mm, I think maybe I'm going to have pizza, too. Yeah, it's definitely a good choice. Pizza's good today. Mm. Sometimes school lunch tastes like it came straight out of a dumpster. But not today. I can tell they ordered this from a local pizza shop. Mm, it was really good, Maria. Are you going to ever stop eating? No, never! <laughs> um, well, guys, I have to get going. Um, since it's half day at school today, I have things I have to do. Oh, well, um, okay. Bye! Molly, do you think it's weird that she has all this money all of a sudden? I think it's really weird. I think I should follow her. Follow her for what? Because I want to see where she's getting all this money from. Did she find a special tree out in the forest that, that, that grows money leaves? Because if so, I want to go there and pick all of the leaves off of it. Oh, boy, Molly, that sounds very greedy. Well, I, I, I want to discover a money tree, too. Well, I'm not following her. I have an after-school job now. You do? Yep, and I love it. So, have fun and let me know what's up. There's Brookie's car. <laughs> I'll see what she's up to. Where's she going? Looks like she's headed to that house she likes so much. Don't tell me she bought it. <laughs> that house was a million dollars. How would she ever afford it? <sighs> I wish I had a fancy car. <sighs> These are huge hills! Huge! Wait, where'd she go? <gasps> there she is. Okay, I don't want to get seen. Where's this money tree she has? Hmm, this house looks like the perfect house to rob! <laughs> what? Did she say rob? Nah, <laughs> she couldn't have. I 
watch what she does next. <gasps> She's putting on a black outfit. Why is she doing that? <laughs> no one's home, so this should be a perfectly easy job. She is going into that house. <gasps> She doesn't really say that she's robbing the place. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna look in the windows. <gasps> okay, I didn't want to be seen. Where's she going? She's stealing stuff out of the dresser! Oh my god! They have an indoor pool? That's amazing. Okay, focus, Molly! Focus! Oh, look! It's the safe! <laughs> Now I'll be able to afford this kind of house because I'll steal all the money. What? B -b 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 a, a, a crook? A thief? A, a criminal? My best friend. And I didn't even know it. Oh my god, what should I do? What should I do? What should I do? What should I do? If I call the police, my best friend will go to jail. How will I live without her? But if I don't call the police, well then it's wrong because she's doing something criminal and, 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 and I'm supposed to call the police. Oh god, what am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Oh no. I have to call the police on my friend. Oh no. 911, what's your emergency? Um, I'm at 175 Brookhaven Lane and my best friend is a criminal. Could you be a little bit more specific? I kind of have absolutely no idea what you're talking about. What are you doing right now? Oh, sorry. I'm eating a donut. <laughs> I'm almost finished. OMG, this is serious! My best friend's a criminal! She's robbing this house as we speak! What? She's robbing a house? Okay, I'll send an officer over right away. Because I can't come. I'm eating a donut. Yeah, yeah, okay, I I'll be here. Just hurry! Where are these police? I mean, they're being so slow. Holy guacamole. Wait, here they come! OMG! They're gonna block off Brookie's car! Brilliant police move! Okay! Who's who's gonna be a new arrest? Daisy? What are you wearing? Oh, I didn't realize she would place the car, Marty. What's going on? Daisy, why are you in a police uniform? Because this is my after-school job, duh! A police officer? Yeah, I love it too! Oh, I feel so amazing! Powerful! Go power! Oh my gosh, Daisy. You as a police officer is just scary. Why? I'm good at it. I don't know. It's just something about the little pigtail. You're just too cute! You can't you can't act mean. I'm gonna act mean right now and throw you in jail if you don't talk nicer to me. Okay, fine. Um, I don't know how to be nice to you. You're my sister. Wait, I think Brookie's coming! Shh! What's going- <gasps> OMG! What, what's going on here? What's going on is you're busted. Molly, did you did you call the cops on me? Um, I, I'm sorry, Brookie, but 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 I had to. It was the right thing to do. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can and will be used against you in a court of law. But she was my best friend. Yeah, and and I had to. Who are you here to see? Ah, uh, the only person in the jail. Who is it that you are to see? These blueberry donuts are so good. Dunkin' Donuts makes the best donuts in the world. I I'm here to see my best friend, Brookie. Oh, yeah, the criminal. Okay, you're checked in. You can go in and see her. You have a face at all? Thanks. Oh, it's you. Um, Brookie, I, I just came to see you. I I I'm sorry that our friendship has ended up this way. You should be. You called the police on me. I, I had to, Brookie. What you were doing was wrong. What I was doing was right. I'm tired of being poor. I couldn't even afford an ice cream with my friends. So I decided to take matters into my own hands. And you ruined everything. Brookie, uh, it, it, you can't just be a criminal because you're poor. That's not okay. Stop yelling at me. Well, actually, I can yell at you because I'm out here and I'm not a criminal and you're in there. So you kind of have to hear what I have to say. No, 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 I'm not listening. Oh, wow, that's really immature. I'm not listening. No, 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 Go away. We're not best friends anymore. You're not my friend at all. What? Brookie? S -s Seriously? Yeah, I don't like you. I hate you. You're horrible. You're, you're the worst person ever. Oh, my God, Brookie. Brookie! Ah, I lost my best friend! Ah! Well, you do the crime, you do the time. Ah! No! No, Brookie! No! <laughs> Brookie! 
Molly? Mo Molly, are, are you okay up there? What? What's going on? Huh? Oh, oh my gosh! It was all a nightmare! Hey, Molly. <laughs> you sleepyhead. Why are you sleeping so late? I had a really rough night's sleep. It looks like it. Have you been crying? Oh, yeah. No, 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 never mind about that. I'm okay. Uh, I'm okay. Cute PJs. Oh, <laughs> thanks. They're super comfy. Molly, I thought today would be the... What? Where'd all that money come from? Whoa, Molly, what is your problem? I knew it. I knew it. You, you, you have to go to jail. That's just it. What are you talking about, Molly? I thought I would take you out for ice cream today. I don't want ice cream for you. You, you, you stole that money. Molly, that's not very nice. What, what happened to you? Did you roll off the top bunk of bed and bunk your head on the floor or something? How rude. I don't know if we can be friends if you're going to be so mean. Well, well, you belong in jail because you steal the money. What are you talking about? I didn't steal that money. I got an after-school job at the grocery store. Oh, uh, I'm so, I'm so sorry, Brookie. I, okay, it's a long story, but I had this horrible dream that you broke into people's houses, stole all their money from the safe, bought a Ferrari, got new Louis Vuitton clothes, and basically, um, yeah, you were a criminal and went to jail. <laughs> Are you serious? <laughs> That's ridiculous, Molly. I know, it sounds ridiculous, but the dream felt really real. <laughs> like your friend would ever be a criminal. No, seriously, I, I, I felt like it was so real. But I know, you're not a criminal. R right? Of course I'm not, Molly. I really did get a job at the grocery store. <laughs> now, do you want an ice cream cone or not? Yeah, sounds pretty good. I got uh, a call about someone robbing the house next door. Said they ran in here. <gasps> I knew it, Brookie! It was you! It wasn't me. I, I didn't do it. Had your description. Um, short brown hair, green bow. Ah! She did it! She robbed the house! She's a criminal! <laughs> I like to good my funny bone. <laughs> oh my gosh, Daisy, you got Molly so good. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> oh, that was funny. Oh, Daisy, you're so bad. <laughs>